Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I need to get things done. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. So it has been, I want to say, I'm trying to think. We've been on summer break for about seven weeks <laughs> and I haven't really accomplished anything for the new, um, you know, upcoming homeschool year. So there's a couple of things on my list today that I'd like to check off. Now, I'm trying to get most of this done in the early morning, early afternoon, because later on today I do have to go out and run some errands. So I do want to try and get most of my list taken care of before I have to leave the house today. But I do have my list here. And so today I need to harvest corn. Now that's probably gonna be the first thing that we do because I wanted to do that before it gets too hot outside. It's supposed to be over 100 degrees here today and I don't wanna go harvest corn in the heat. So we're probably gonna start with harvesting some corn. I also need to make some bread. We haven't had bread in quite a few days because I just haven't felt like making it. So I need to make some French bread today. I also need to make some homemade vanilla. Um, I've had these vanilla beans, um, this, package of, this package of vanilla beans for a few months now and they've just been sitting there and I finally picked up some vodka <laughs> um, at Costco the other day. So I'm gonna be making some homemade vanilla. I also need to work on my new homeschool planner. Um, I'm not going to complete my whole planner today, but I do need to organize some of the papers and things like that. So I'm going to do a little bit of that today. I'm also going to be putting together our homeschool nature cabinet. Now, um, we received a, or my husband technically, he received like this old antique cabinet that used to belong to his grandparents. And we put it downstairs. It's the only area we can really fit it. It's a beautiful cabinet. Um, but I decided that for this new upcoming homeschool year, I want to have kind of like a nature cabinet and this cabinet is going to work perfectly for that. Um, we have not been focusing on any kind of nature study too much over the last couple of years in our homeschool and I'm trying to kind of bring that back. So I'm thinking having this, you know, dedicated space for some nature things would be great. So I want to put that cabinet together. I also, oh, <laughs> um, I have... Um, some cabinets upstairs in my library that they have like some pull out drawers where we keep extra homeschool supplies like you know pens tape glue things like that in this drawer well that drawer is kind of a mess and it needs to be restocked it needs to be refilled and a lot of the like organizing containers that are in that drawer broke so I did pick up some more um, like organizing little drawer things from the Dollar Tree so I want to get those new ones in there and restock that like little homeschool drawer up there and then I also need to clean my front room so that is what I have planned for this morning and I just thought it would be fun to bring you bring you along so again we are going to start with the corn harvest though because again it's supposed to be over 100 degrees today and I don't want to do that later so let's just get started Or the bearded dragon. So now that we are done with the corn harvest, I'm going to get started on the bread because the bread does need to rise for about an hour. So I'm going to get started on that. If you're interested in this recipe, I will leave the video down in the description box. Um, I do have a full video on this French bread recipe if you're interested, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on making the bread. I just remembered that my container of flour is actually empty, so I need to go and get my like five gallon bucket out of storage so I have flour to actually make the bread. I absolutely love making this French, well, not really making it, but eating the French bread. 
Um, this is a really good French bread recipe. We like to turn this French bread into freezable garlic bread. We also like to turn it into croutons. If we have some that are, you know, if we have some of this French bread left over and it's a couple of days old, it makes really great croutons as well. So, I mean, it's very versatile. While the dough is kneading, that's what you're hearing, my machine going, I'm gonna go ahead and refill my container of flour, just so it's one more thing done, even though it wasn't on the list. <laughs> It'll make me feel more accomplished. Now I'm just gonna let that rest for about an hour and we'll move on to making the homemade vanilla. Oh, and I do need to take, you need to, there we go, I need to pop that little lid out. I do have a video on homemade vanilla as well. I can link that in the description box as well if you're interested. So if I could keep enough homemade vanilla on hand, which I usually do, I like to gift little um, bottles of homemade vanilla for like Christmas and things like that. So that's usually what I do. I always like to have homemade vanilla ready as gifts. And I just package them up in cute little bottles and make my own little labels. And they're just, I mean, I think it's really sweet and nice and it's homemade and it's good. I did try making different extracts. Those are still kind of sitting inside my pantry, um, waiting to just, you know, soak up the flavors. But I did try making a lemon extract, an orange extract, and a mint extract. And I am really looking forward to seeing how those come out. I had never made them before. And it is stuff that we'll occasionally buy. Um, and it could be really expensive. So I thought if I'm already making vanilla extract, I might as well try making different flavors as well. And I, again, it, they're not done yet, but um, I'm really looking forward to when they are because I'd love to taste them. We love to bake. And I just think that they can add some really amazing flavors to like certain desserts and things like that. I'm feeling very motivated today. <laughs> with this list. I'm just trying to beat the clock because I don't want to be out in the heat. <laughs> like I said, it's supposed to be over 100 degrees today and I do have to go and run some errands later and I'm really hoping that I'm not out when it's like basically lava outside. There we go. Another item checked off the list. So the bread is still rising, so I decided to go ahead and just start working on my homeschool planner. I'm only going to spend about 15 minutes printing and organizing some of these papers, and then I'm going to go ahead and move on with the rest of my checklist. Okay, so this mess is the mess, or nature stuff, that I want to add to the cabinet. So all of this needs to come off of the homeschool cart, and I need to move it on over to the cabinet. Okay, so here is that cabinet that we just received. We used to have a different setup in here, but we tore the old cabinet out, and it used to have shelves and stuff on the wall. So this is going to have to fit some of our homeschool stuff for downstairs, because that's how we use the old like cabinet that used to be here. So I decided that in this like glass door section, there's shelves in there. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put like a lot of our nature stuff in this cabinet. And then um, at the bottom, these bins, I actually put those there the other day. I have like some seeds that I still want to grow in my garden in there. I have snap circuits and like, I think they're like magnetic tiles for my youngest daughter. She still plays with those a lot. And then um, this bin just has like some of our, um, what are they called? Like headphones and the wireless mouse for the computer and things like that. So those are already done, but we are going to focus on this area here and turn it into a little nature cabinet for the upcoming homeschool year.
so I think that is it for now for this cabinet. I am still waiting on a few things to come in. I, again, I didn't want to overfill the cabinet because it is old. We will be getting supplies to put in there. That's the watercolor in nature book that we're going to be using. And then I did pull out a lot of our nature games. The, those right there are our um, watercolor like pads, like the notebooks, and some watercolor cards. And down here we have our microscope and microscope slides. So I think that this looks, you know, okay. <laughs> I know it's not the most beautiful, but I do need to make this cabinet work for homeschool. And I do like that I decided on doing a nature cabinet um, this year. So it does seem like it's going to be a lot of fun. Back to the bread. Okay, so now on to cleaning up the front room. I mean, it's messy, but it's not like horrible, so it shouldn't take too long. There's a real quick cleanup of the front room. I'm actually making pretty good progress on this list. I think the last thing I need to do is go organize the drawer upstairs. Okay, so the last thing I need to do today is clean out this drawer. Now, this drawer holds a lot of our overflow, like um, homeschooling supplies, like markers, pens, glue, tape, stuff like that. Well, I had a whole bunch of these bins and it filled the entire drawer but a lot of them broke or got lost or whatever. So when I went to the Dollar Tree to pick up some more of these bins, I decided to go with these ones because you get five bins for $1.25 instead of just one bin. So even though these are like a purple, that's okay with me. Purple is my favorite color, but I'm going to go ahead and start organizing this drawer um, with these new bins and some of our new homeschool supplies.
Okay, so I think I got it. Back here I have the stapler, extra tape, and glue. I have erasable pens. I do have more coming in, so I wanted to leave a little bit of room. And those are our like rewards cards. This is where our pencils are gonna go. I just don't have any right now. Those are on order, but that whole entire thing will be filled with pencils. Now back here, these are the dots that I use to label my books. And this is a bookmark that I give to my kids every year. Um, it's like a challenging word bookmark. But yeah, I give these out every year to my kids just in case they need some help, so I have those there. These are dry erase markers, window markers, and now we're kind of into the little stuff, so staple um, remover. These are like the little letters that go on our letter board. I use these when I use my binding machine. I have erasers, um, little magnetic bookmarks and tabs, staples. Back here is my label maker and chalk. I have the label, label maker tape, and I have this like white out stuff. I forgot what that's called. It's like a big white out thing. Now over here is some more little things. So I have these rings that we use sometimes when I like put flashcards together or something. Um, these clips, some tacks. These tacks have hooks on them so they're separate. Rubber bands. Um, what is this? Oh these, I forgot what these are called. But you know you could like put things together. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. If I remember I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Um, so, oops, sorry, some more tacks, some small and large paper clips. I don't remember if I told you I have chalk back there. And we just have some um, plain index cards here. These are pretty much overflow. My kids have their own index cards. So that was the last thing that I needed to complete other than, you know, the bread is baking. I'll insert a picture in just a moment so you can see how the bread came out. So that is everything that was on my to-do list today. Now I need to go run out and do some errands. I'm hoping it's not too, too hot out there. But if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.